Every time I open the TikTok app, it seems like I get an advert for the Astral Light Galaxy Projector. It shows the entire room lit up with what feels like a night sky filled with green dots that act like stars and a projection of a crescent moon. But these are adverts. They're supposed to show their products in the best light, no pun intended. But in reality, how great is the night sky or galaxy effect? Well, in this video, I'll be running through everything that the Astral Galaxy projector is capable of. Let's start by taking a look at the projector itself and its functionality. It's not very big, it has a bulb on top and touch buttons around the circumference of the right hand side. It's made from plastic and unfortunately has a very cheap feel to it, like if it gets knocked off the side it's definitely going to break kind of feeling. It's powered via micro USB and says it has a 2000 milliamp battery on the Astral website, but mine here doesn't charge or seem to be charging and there is no indicator light telling me it's receiving a charge from a power source. There's also no indication from the box if I have the original version or the wireless version either. It's just a plain box that doesn't reflect the box actually shown on the website whatsoever. To run through the buttons on the side of my projector here, the top button is for power. It turns the projector on and off, self-explanatory. The second cycles through all of the different colors available. The third cycles through different modes like turning the moon on and off or turning the star effect on and off or breathing the stars in and out or turning the color waves on and off as well. The fourth is for sound activation, which when used with music turns it into a strobe effect, which is absolutely hideous. Do not use this setting unless you want to give yourself a headache. And why would you want to do that? It reacts to each and every tiny bit of music it hears and it just gets ridiculous. <laughs> The buttons here are touch sensitive, and when I say sensitive, I mean sensitive. Every time I wanted to move the light, I turned it off, or switched color, or turned the stars off. The lightest of touches will have your settings changed or powered off completely. It's ridiculous really, especially as they're around the outside of the device. Proper buttons, or even centered buttons on the side, would have worked best, I think. There is also a partner app, but it didn't seem to feature anything else that you couldn't really achieve with the buttons on the side of the unit, so I didn't bother hooking the light up to my home Wi-Fi. Doing so though does mean that you can control the light with Amazon Alexa as long as you've got the right model. I haven't got Amazon Alexa or the Amazon Alexa infrastructure in my home. I am a Google Home guy, so again, hooking the projector up to my Wi-Fi for this reason was also pointless. But this is a Galaxy projector after all, and I suppose we need to talk about the actual projection effect. Well, it comes close to what's being demonstrated in their adverts, but there was still something to be desired by the effect it gave. Now they're not lying, however, just maybe exaggerating a bit, which is exactly what adverts are supposed to do. Now placement is absolutely key for getting the best effects. I first tried the astral light in my living room by placing it towards the back of my coffee table, which sits in between my sofa and chair, but the sofa arms blocked off a lot of the light. This has a lot to do with the orientation that the actual projector can sit. There are three separate feet which are there to aim the astral light either upwards or at a diagonal angle. When it was on the coffee table, it was firing out into the room. I then moved it to the sofa arm. The effect did get better, but this isn't exactly practical, especially if you're expecting to make it more of a feature in the room or you have guests that want to actually sit on the sofa, they're not going to want a galaxy projector on the arm of the chair that they're sitting in. Next up was the floor in the center of the room, which gave the widest spread on the ceiling, which I personally liked the best. But again, it's not hugely practical, especially if you've got people walking around the room or coming in and out, they're just gonna kick it and trip over any cables you've got running to the projector and it'll just get really messy. I then moved the projector to this table and fired it into the room and the camera was just sitting behind me and it produced a better spread of light, albeit it was a less bright. And finally, I did put the light behind the camera, again, firing into the room, which did improve the spread, but at the expense of more light. There is a big drop off, unfortunately, when it comes to the color waves and the green dots or stars had a much better spread. I would have liked to have seen a far more powerful light coming out of the projector for the waves, just to improve quality and brightness, but also coverage too. The light was just far from room filling and nowhere near bright enough if you had the luxury of placing one of these in a corner high enough to get the desired spread. I'd at best call this a corner filling light 
or a part of your wall filling light. This really begs the question, is the Astral Light Galaxy Projector worth the price? No. The basic model comes in at £70 on the Astral website, and if you want the Alexa Wi-Fi capable one, you're looking at £90. They are on sale at the time of making this video at £35 and £45 respectively, but for the original ticket price, absolutely not. If I found the original ticket pricing to be a little closer to maybe 20 and 35 pounds, then yeah, sure, buy one, use it for a bit, show it off to your friends, buy it for your kids because they'll love it because TikTok said so, but do be warned, advertisers are good at their jobs and they're good at making their products seem better than they are. And I for one think that that is the case here. Thank you very much for checking out our video review of the Astral Light Galaxy Projector. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos, and also let us know in the comments down below what you think about the Astral Light Galaxy Projector. Would you buy one? Would you buy one for your kids? And uh, if you have already got one, tell us what you think about it. As I said, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.